flag carrier. The airline that lets you feel the warmth of the nation. Mabuhay. Usaka pagtuo. Usaka tingog. Usaka katawan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Gikan sa INTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas... Uluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Labing una ng regional bar examination si Gagihimo din sa Sugbo, Malinaon. Suspek sa pagpusil patay sa inahan og anak sa Baraga, Guadalupe na patay sa Pinusilay. Mayong unto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa inyusang puwersa sa CCTA News Team. Kami muhatod ka ninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karun sa detalye sa atong mga balita. Update sa COVID-19 din sa Central Visayas, ang dakbayan sa Sugbo. Adunay 141 kabagong kaso kagapong adlawa. Kini, base sa report sa Department of Health. Mandawi, 36. Lapu-Lapu, 23. Lalawigan sa Sugbo, 122. Bohol, 55. Sikihor, Duha. Negros Oriental, 13. Sa kinatibukan, muabot sa 392 kabagong kaso sa COVID-19 din sa Central Visayas kagahapong adlawa. Malinaon o Malampuson ang labing unang regionalized bar examination nga gihimo suod sa duha ka adlaw ug tulo ka mga dagkong unibersidad din sa Dakbayan sa Sugbo kini bisan pa man sa pipila ka mga babang sa Damgo sa pipila ka mga examinees na si Cebu City Councilor ug mausay hipi sa Cebu City Emergency Operation Center nga si Kunsyal Joel Garganera miingon nga Malinaon o Malampuson ang maong kalihukan nagpasalamat si Garganera sa Korte Suprema ni ning talagsaong oportunidad nga ani sa Sugbog Himo ang bar examination sa tanan nga mga mikoperar usab sa mga kausaban si Supreme Court Associate Justice og 2020-21 bar examinations chairperson nga si Marvic Leonin mingon nga dunay 219 ka mga bar examinees ang wa makasalmot human nagpositibo sa COVID-19 apan matud niya nga dili sila ang ayang mod ano paglaom tungod kay dunay pay panahon usab ala ang kanila. May katap sa social media nga doon ay usah kababae nga bar applicant din sa Sugbo nga naghikog sa dihang na-disqualify human nga nagpositibo sa COVID-19. Apan si Police Lieutenant Colonel Maria Teresa Makatangay, ang information officer sa Cebu City Police Office may ngun, nga wa sila na dawat nga report labot ni ini. Mato ni Makatangay nga ilang isusid dayon ang maong taho sa social media apan wa makonfirmar da so niya nga kun tinuod kini gipaniguro niya nga wa kini may tabo din sa Sugbo. Mga sakop sa basketball community din sa Sugbo ni Saad sa ilang suporta kang gubernatorial candidate Ace Durano ang kasayuran ihatod ni Mary Rose Sagarino. Ni Saad sa ilang suporta ang mga miyembro sa basketball community sa Sugbo kang gubernatorial aspirant Ace Durano. Si Durano mapasalamaton sa mga PBA legend, coach, referee o basketball community sa Sugbo sa pagpili sa pagsuporta kaniya. Si PBA legend Al Solis ni Ingon nga nakahukom siya nga suportaan si Durano tungod sa iyang plano para sa mga kabatan-unan o sports o sabang o sayang agenda. Ang team-up ni Durano o Vice Governor Hilario Junjun David III 
nilusad usab ni Adtong Sabado sa ilang Sports Again COVID program. Matod ni Durano nga ang pagduwa og sports sa dunay daghang benepisyo alang sa physical o mental health. Matod ni ini nga sa higayon nga mabutang na sa alert level 2 ang Sugbo. Sugda nila ang pagpahigayon og inter og intra city ligas og training sa alang sa mga batan-on. Matod niya nga dili lang kinilimitado sa basketball, apan lakip na usabang ubang sports. Si Armand Solis Kulina, assistant USJR coach ni Ingon, nga tukma sa panahon ang maong programa. Matod ni Kulina, nga sa mga tuig nga wala gitugtan ang pagduwa og basketball, nakapag-uol kini sa mga batan-on, o nakaprostrate kaayo sa mga coaches tungod kay nahunong ang programa nga giplano tungod sa COVID-19. Mato ni Durano, gaugman o pildi sa eleksyon, ipadayon gihapon nila ang programa. Kung mapili, si Durano ni Ingon na ilang ipadayon ang Governor's Cup ni Davide. Mato ni Durano, nga usa sa ilang prioridad ni Davide nga development agenda, mao ang grassroots sports program alang sa mga kabatanunan. Mary Rosa Garino, CCTN News. Giyonagway ni Senator Aspirant Harry Roque nga usa lang ka scrap paper o white bill. Ang uh, disinteng opinion sa kanhi Kumili Commissioner nga si Ruina Guanson sa disqualification nga kaso batok ang presidential aspirant Ferdinand Bumbong Marcos. Si Roque ni Ingon nga kinitungod kay si Guanson ni retiro naman ni atong uh, Merkulis o guanaw sa kining uh, sa promulgation sa desisyon sa Kumili First Division. Si Roque mi pasabot nga ang tax evasion lahi sa kapakyas ni ini pagduso sa yang tax returns. Mato ni ini nga bisan o gadon ay conviction si Bongbong tungod kay napakya sa pagduso sa yang tax return apan wa kini malambigit sa moral turpitude nga mahimong ma-disqualify kaniya sama sa giangkon ni Guanzon. Rekomendasyon sa Senate Blue Ribbon Committee nga mupasaka og kaso kang Presidente Rodrigo Duterte og uban patungod sa anomalia sa pagpamalit og COVID medical related supplies gituyo para madaot ang pangan sa presidente og mga kaubanan ang kasayuran ni Hatod ni Mereros Sagarino. Usa ka aid of persecution matod pa ang rekomendasyon sa Senate Blue Ribbon Committee nga mupasaka og kaso kang Presidente Rodrigo Duterte og uban pa tungod sa anomalya sa pagpalit og COVID-19 medical related supplies sigo ni kanhi presidential spokesperson og senatorial aspirant Harry Roque ang Senate Blue Ribbon Committee nga gipanguluhan ni Senator Richard Gordon ni recommend sa pagpasaka og kaso bato kang Duterte Health Secretary Francisco Duque III formally executives og uban pa tungod sa giingong anomalya sa pagpalit og COVID-19 medical supplies sa initial nga report ni ini sa investigasyon bahin sa sayop nga paggamit sa pandemic fund sa Department of Health kinahang lang Nubag si Duterte sa premeditated plunder nga gihimo sa mga individual nga nalambigit sa anomalya. Si Roque Duda nga dunay igong ebidensya ang report alang sa krimeng plunder. Matod niya nga dili sila makapasaka og kaso kang Duterte tungod kay iyang gitumbok si Lloyd Christopher Lau, kanhi officer in charge sa Procurement Service Department of Budget Management. Si Roque nagkanayon nga usa kini ka aid of persecution aron madaot ang presidente og iyang mga kaalyado. Matod niya kinitungod kay si Gordon. Suma pa sa survey, wala na sa top 12. Matod ni ini nga walay kandidato pagka-presidente si Duterte o gado nalay mga kandidato pagka-senador. Asoy ni Roque nga ang paglapas sa Government Procurement Reform Act kon RA 9184 nga mauyo sa mga rason sa draft report at dili illegal. Sanglit base sa Bayanihan to Hill as One Act kon RA 11469 exempted kini sa RA 9184. Mary Rose Sagarino CCTN News. Suspek sa pagpusil patay sa usa ka inahan og anak diya sa Barangay Guadalupe na patay usab. Human kini natigpinusilay sa mga pulis diya sa Barangay Pasil ning dakbayan sa Subo ni adtong Sabado sa hapon. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Merero Sagarino. Patay ang suspitsado sa pagpamusil patay sa inahan og anak sa Barangay Guadalupe. Human matod pa nakigpinusilay sa mga pulis sa Barangay Pasil ning dakbayan sa Subo ni adtong Sabado sa hapon. Hinoon ang operasyon batok ang Janjan Moko dili tungod sa giingong kalambigitan ni ini sa krimen kundi tungod sa alarma sa armed personnel nga nadawat sa Fuente Police Station. Una ni ini ang Guadalupe Police Station nagkanayon nga gihunong na nila ang ilang manhunt operation batok sa sospek tungod kay lapas na sa reglementary period o lapas na sa 72 oras. 
Dugang sa station nga ilang gipasaka ang kasong double murder o frustrated murder batok sa sospek ni Adong Biernes. Gihimakak usab ni Labora ang mga taho nga si Moko o sa kapulis asit sa ilang istasyon. Gitataw ni Labora nga nakipag-away ang sospek sa mga operatiba nga may resulta sa iyang kamatayon. Matod niya nga armado ang sospek og 9mm revolver nga nakitan sa crime scene apan kini subject pa sa verification. Matod niya nga ila pa usab susihon kung ang maong armas ba ang gigamit sa sospek sa pagpatay sa iyang live-in partner nga si Janeline Buntilaw o giyang anak nga si Hana sa Barangay Guadalupe. Si Labora ni Ingon nga dunay posibilidad nga dunay kaila si Moko nga nagpuyo sa Barangay Pasil hinungdan nga nakahuna-huna siyang mutago dito. Mary Rose Sagarino CCTN News. Mao kanto ato mga balita sa alas 12 sangan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTN News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. Atangi ang atong Sari 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next ang Santos nga misa manukad live sa CCTN Chapel. Daghang salamat. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family.
Together with our personal intentions, as we enter the fifth week in the ordinary time, let us continue to pray for the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today, and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and streamed celebration. Let us also pray for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the Apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, Christ, have Lord, have Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. The elders of Israel and all the leaders of the tribes, the princes and the ancestral houses of the children of Israel, came to King Solomon in Jerusalem to bring up the Ark of the Lord's Covenant from the city of David, which is Zion. All the people of Israel assembled before King Solomon during the festival in the month of Ethnim, the seventh month. When all the elders of Israel had arrived, the priests took up the ark. They carried the ark of the Lord and the meeting tent with all the sacred vessels that were in the tent. The priests and Levites carried them. King Solomon and the entire community of Israel, present for the occasion, sacrificed before the ark sheep and oxen, too many to number or count. The priests brought the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord to its place beneath the wings of the cherubim in the sanctuary, the Holy of Holies of the Temple. The cherubim had their wings spread out over the place of the Ark, sheltering the Ark and its poles from above. There was nothing in the Ark but the two stone tablets which Moses had put there at Horeb when the Lord made a covenant with the children of Israel at their departure from the land of Egypt. When the priests left the holy place, the cloud filled the temple of the Lord so that the priests could no longer minister because of the cloud since the Lord's glory had filled the temple of the Lord. Then Solomon said, the Lord intends to dwell in the dark cloud. I have truly built you a princely house a dwelling where you may abide forever. The word of the Lord.
From the Holy Gospel according to Mark. After making the crossing to the other side of the sea, Jesus and his disciples came to land at Genezaret and tied up there. As they were leaving the boat, people immediately recognized him. They scurried about the surrounding country and began to bring in the sick on mats to, whatever, to wherever they heard he was. Whatever villages or towns or countryside he entered, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch only the tassel on his cloak. And as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed Monday to us. From the literary perspective of the Bible, and if we try to take a look into both readings, the Gospel and the first readings today, they somehow uh, point or present to us a summative uh, dimension or perspective. Okay, the first reading is the summary or the actually the how Solomon finally enthroned the whole the, the Ark of the Covenant in the Holy of Holies. In today's gospel reading, it runs like a summary of what Jesus actually was doing you know, in a very few verses. But then focusing on the gospel reading today, have you ever asked? Why were the people so determined to scour, no? They were actually to scurry, no? Ilang ipang ilang ipang dalatanan ang mga masakiton ngayon kang Jesus. And then with one condition, even just to only touch the tassel of his cloak. Now, have you ever asked that? Ngano ka? Well, part of the summary, that is Mark's way of presenting the gospel. But if we look back a little bit from the, the previous chapter, there was this incident, remember, of the woman who suffered 
hemorrhages for a number of years. She just touched the tassel. And after that, the gospel reading does not say that, he, that she did not say anything anymore. And, and it is expected that after she touched the tassel and after her confrontation with the Lord and doing what the Lord was telling her, her and how fast the news actually was spread in that particular country, in that particular town, in that particular place. Now, in our times now, if it is so fast, or even faster than fastest, ang pagkailap sa balita karon tungod sa social media, kung sa panahon ni Jesus, no? But then, that is one, one thing that we have to really appreciate as well, how the message goes around so fast. But then, the beautiful thing is the desire of those who wanted to be touched by the Lord. Pero tungod sa kadaghan sa mga tao, di sila makaako, they desire to touch the Lord. No? So there are two dimensions and perspectives here. To be touched by Him and to touch Him. <laughs> And since it is impossible, almost impossible in that particular context to be touched by the Lord, they themselves, no? Muna, di na magagikan ang pagtuo. And I always connect this with a very beautiful offertory song. Di uh, ako ma-surprise, kung inyo nang kantahon po karoon sa atong offertory song. I think you know the song, Lord, we touch you today. Uh, and the beautiful chorus, the chorus line there says, to... to to live is to love, is to die, is to cry. You know, the, the, the infinitives. But to touch the Lord, that is one beautiful starting point to show that we really have the faith. But of course, the Lord keeps on touching us through His words, through the sacraments we celebrate, and through the many different events. But it also has to come from our own perspective. Na muhikap gida sa ginoo. And touching Him is a very beautiful and lively expression expression of how we believe of how we have faith of what the faith we have in him and so as we continue this eucharistic celebration with this great desire not just to be touched by the lord but really to touch him hinaut unta that we can also touch others because that is the dynamics of making the faith alive and continuously lively in our midst, in our lives. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now pray to the Father who wants everyone to be healed. He does not reject those who come to Him in need in order to touch Him and to be touched by Him. And so we say, Divine Healer, be merciful to all. That as a church, we may not close our hearts to the needs of others, but share God's love with everyone. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, be merciful to all. That we may all work for justice and human dignity, especially for those who are left out by society, including the weak and the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine healer, be merciful to all. That we, as a community, may support and uplift one another with the love and gentleness which the Lord has shown us. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine healer, be merciful to all. That those who are sick in mind, body, and spirit may find complete healing let us pray to the Lord. Divine healer, be merciful to all. That the faithful departed may have eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine healer, be merciful to all. Almighty Father, hear our prayers and make our hearts ready to welcome and love our needy brothers and sisters. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with Midifil, his assistant bishop, all bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And Let's now share with each other the sign of peace. Shalom. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, 
never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. O oh God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Oratio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O most holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Señor Santo Nino, Our Lady of Guadalupe, Our Lady Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Rafael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsod. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace.
Church of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. the beauty of the Philippines. With Philippine Airlines, the country's flag carrier, airline that lets you feel the warmth of the nation. Mabuhay! I am the servant of the Lord. Rejoice, be not afraid, for the Lord is with you. You have found favor with God. Rejoice and be glad. You bear a son, the Son of the Most High. His God will sit to be, then let it be. Let everything you have said happen to me. Restless journey of faith Mary, a mother, let us emulate On this narrow road that we take Have courage to go straight In this dauntless journey of hope Led by the Spirit as we go forth Bring 